Hello, this is the homework for Lesson 14, Module 5 of Grade 2. Get your name on here first, please. And we're solving by drawing chips on a chart and then using addition to check our work and solving vertically or mentally. So... Like that, 373, 300, 70, 3. Now, I might be going a little too fast for you to keep up. That's okay. Pause it. Uh, and then go back over it. If, you, if I skip past, you can just click back and uh, go over the part that uh, that I rushed through. But I don't want these videos to last, you know, an hour long. Nobody wants to watch a video that long of math homework. So um, that's why I'm kind of hurrying up uh, through these. 100, 1, 2, 3. Wait a minute. This is subtraction, right? So I don't draw the subtrahend when I subtract. Oh, I'm so used to doing all these addition charts that... I almost started adding instead of subtracting by accident. That same thing might happen to you. All right, I have to subtract 180. Do I have enough ones? Yes, I do. Uh, so I can subtract zero ones. Do I? Can I cross out eight tens? No, because I only have seven. So I have to decompose 100. Now I can subtract eight tens. I'm going to have two left of this ten here, which is going to leave me with three ones and nine tens and two hundreds vertically. Starting with the ones place digits, three minus zero is three. Got to decompose 100. 17 tens minus 8 tens is 9 tens. And there's a 100 left. Ooh, I forgot to cross out my 100 over here. So I got to fix that. It should just be 193. And we'll check this. You should be able to add the 180, our subtrahend, to the 193. Add our ones digits first, three, eight plus nine, and our tens is 17. Got to compose 100. Got the 373 back again. Now the four hundred sixty three. Hundreds, tens, and ones. Can I cross out seven ones? So I'm subtracting 357. No, I can't, so I have to decompose a 10. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do I have enough tens to subtract five tens? Yes, I do. So, and I have enough hundreds. I'm ready to subtract. So, seven ones means I'm going to have three of these left behind. Uh, so I have six ones here, and now tens, I'm going to cross out five tens. I'm not going to have any tens left, and three hundreds I have to subtract. I have one left. Looking at this, there doesn't, there's no mental strategy that's just grabbing me here. That 357 is almost 360, which would just be no I'm gonna do it vertically 463 minus 357 uh, do I have enough ones I don't so I have to decompose a 10 five tens left there which will mean I'll have 10 more ones 13 and now I have enough tens I can subtract 13 minus 7 is 6 
5 minus 5 is 0, and 4 minus 3 is 1. And I can look at this and see in my chip model I had to decompose a 10, and in my vertical method I also had to decompose a 10. So it's probably pretty good. But we're checking with addition. 106 plus 357. 6 plus 7 in our 1's digits is 13. I've got to compose a 10 with three 1's left behind. And our 10's place... 5 plus 1, 6 tens, and 100s is 1 plus 3, that's 4. 463 is what we started with. So far, so good. 100s, tens, ones, 700. Twenty, three. And we have to subtract 584. Not going to have enough ones, so we've got to decompose a 10. And we got to subtract 8 tens, and we definitely don't have enough of those, so we've got to decompose a 100. Now we can subtract. Uh, four ones, nine left, and eight tens, leaves two of these behind, and that one here that we still had, so there's three tens left, and it looks like we have, oh, we're going to cross, we still have to subtract five hundreds eh, there, so there's just one, one hundred left. And... Again, I'm going to do this vertically because I just don't, there's not a mental strategy that's just grabbing me with these digits here. 580 grabbing with these digits. <laughs> All right. Uh, don't have enough ones. Don't have enough tens. Got to decompose 100. Well, let's just do this one place value at a time. So just like we did the HTO chart here. Uh, we're going to have one ten left. And that means now we're going to have 13 ones. And I'm not going to have enough tens, so I have to decompose 100. And I'll have 11 tens. So thir in our ones place, 13 minus 4 is 9. 11 minus 8 in our tens place, that's 3. And 6 minus 5 is 1. There's the 139. So, all right. And we'll check it one more time. 584, 139. And starting with the ones place, 9 plus 4 is 13. Got to compose a 10 with three ones left behind. Looking at our tens place, there's 8 plus 3, that's 11. And there's that one more that I composed, which makes 12. That means I got to compose 100. With two tens left behind, 12. And then we add up our hundreds, 7. And that's what we started with. All right. Hundreds, tens, and ones. 800. 60. 1. And I'm going to subtract. I'm going to figure out how to cross out 673. So three ones. I can't. I can't cross out three ones because I only have one of one one as it is. So I have to decompose a ten. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then seven tens is what I have to cross out. I don't have enough tens for that. So I got to decompose a hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten tens. All right, so we're going to subtract three ones. One, two, three. And seven tens. There's going to be three left from this ten frame here. And then six hundreds. That's this whole five group and one more. So what do we have left? 
looks like eight ones. And for the tens, we have a five group here and three more, so that makes eight. And then 100. Let's see what it looks like. I don't see, again, these are not very good mental digits to work with here. 673. Don't have enough ones, don't have enough tens, but I'm just gonna, five tens left. That's 11 ones, and I have to decompose 100. That's 10 more tens, so now I have 15 tens and 11 ones. So 11 minus 3 is 8. In our tens place, 15 minus 7 is also 8. And in our 100, 7 minus 6 is 1. That's 188. So 188 plus 673, starting with our ones place first, always from vertical. Uh, addition or subtraction, always one's place. A plus 3 is 11. Got to compose a 10. A plus 7 is 15. Tens plus the one more I compose is 16. Got to compose 100. And we add the 6 and the 2 ones in the 100's place, and that's 800. And that's what we started with. That was our menu end. Okay, one more. Hundreds, tens, ones, eight hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninety, eight, and we're subtracting eight hundred eighty nine. Don't have nine ones, so I have to decompose a ten. And I need to subtract eight tens, and I have them, so I'm good there. And which is fortunate because I can't spare any hundreds. So let's cross out our uh, nine ones, one left of those, and cross out the eight tens and the eight hundreds. And what's left? We have. Eight and one more nine. That's it. Double O nine. Eight hundred ninety eight minus eight hundred eighty nine. Don't have enough ones, so gotta decompose a ten. Gives us eighteen ones. 18 minus 9 is 9. In our tens place, 8 minus 8 is 0. In our hundreds, 8 minus 8 is 0. And then we have 889 plus 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. Got to compose a 10. And then our tens, 8 plus the 10 we composed is 9 tens and the 800. If 544 plus 366 equals 910, then 910 minus 554 equals 366. Explain why the statement is true using numbers, pictures, or words. So it could actually do the addition and the subtraction, um, like say vertical method or something like that, and then that would prove that those are true but I, th I think it this is you can see that you have a 544 here and a 366 and a 910 so these are related number sentences And if I was going to make a number bond out of this, you can see that this is the whole
and we have two parts. Part, excuse me, part. And 544 is one of the parts, and 366 is the other part. And I could just write if I want. I mean, that would probably be enough right there, but I can just keep going and write the rest of the related number sentences. There's the two addition. And the two subtraction. 